Hello everybody, my name is Hellkaiser, and welcome back to Bayonetta. Just, why do you have to hit the button twice? That's something I don't understand. Uh, we finished, what, mission... Chapter 2 is what we're starting. Uh, we don't really have any points to buy anything. We're, we'll take a look real quick. Uh, the way that you buy stuff in this game, to me, it's a bit overly expensive. I don't know why they made that. Well, the guy from Ender the Gungeon looks an awful lot like you. Is he bald? I can't remember. I don't recall. Take a glass, take a sip of a glass of old sweet tea. You can tell I'm a southerner. Okay, in terms of items, there's nothing else I need in terms of items. I've got all the witch hearts and all the moon pearls. I have all the techniques, uh, which I've forgotten how to use some of them. Okay, that, that explains pretty much what I need to know. Okay, that, that's all I need to know. Uh, then, like I said, I have all the weapons already unlocked that I can have. And then it takes uh, quite a bit of halos to get anything. And then I'll probably get the Star of Denetia, I guess. Is how you, I don't know it would be like the best. Yeah, I don't want anything that stops witch time. Okay, what is this supposed to do? I have no idea. Okay, that's supposed to be like an easy mode, isn't it? Okay, and then if you're wondering what the last thing is, his treasures for so many halos and stuff, you can buy like different perfumes which essentially equal sometimes like different costumes and there's quite a few different costumes believe it or not and before we get too started i'll show you another thing you get for buying either the wii u version because i played this originally on the wii u or the uh the, the switch version is you get a mushroom princess costume uh sarah saland i've never known how to say where daisy's from costume which is literally identical except for a minor color swap and it's got luigi on it instead of mario you get a hero of hyrule costume which honestly is pretty good because it adds a new weapon uh and you get the sword and shield and then you get samus's outfit which also includes a different type of weapon uh which is kind of cool i mean these two are literally uh the same thing except it fires out bowser instead of uh, her normal weaves. But, it, you know, it's nice if I added in some different costumes and tried to make things a little different. So anyway, let's get started. I still love the fact that I can change my costumes. I mean, not, I mean, practice my combos. I wish that you could switch weapons a little bit better though. I don't like the way that the weapon system is in this game. It feels too old school, especially when you consider that by the time DMC4 was around, you know, you could switch styles and weapons just instantaneously when you are playing as Dante. And just everything was just very lightning fast. And this game came out after that and felt a little bit slower in terms of like you can only have two weapons equipped at a time and swap, swap out between two more. So you only have four weapons at a time. It's impossible to do a combo with, like, say, every single one of her weapons. Does that fire two bullets at once, like Nero? Into you here. I never noticed that. Does it fire two at once? Because that really is an That's odd similarity to DMC4. Past, <laughs> You've quite the familiar face, and using the same powers. But you'll have to forgive me. Do we know each other? <laughs> Same powers. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Your little dip in that lake has left you a bit rusty. But there are the same powers. Been That's high and dry for twenty years now. The only rust on me is from the lack of any real challenge. Perhaps you're up for the task. 
You've already disappointed me. I will admit, when they do bother with the cutscenes, they look cool and very flashy and, and stylish. It's just, whenever they do those stop motion, whatever, I don't know what you call it. It's not stop motion, but frame by frame, whatever you want to call that style. It's just rather annoying. I've long desired. But you've forgotten your destiny. And wasted the past 20 years. So? You're right. I do seem to be having trouble remembering things of late. Would you be so kind as to take it from the top? Two overseers. The eyes of the world. They are the power. What is she doing with that? That's lipstick why wave it around her whole face John as heir to the clan the time has come for you to prove your right to fight under the umbra name you may select opponents of your choice then allow me to face the outcast the non healing kiadagot a child is, of is that a real language that she was speaking there? Of our of faith. It would not be the first time we faced each other. Child. Is that a real language? If anyone knows in the comments, let me know. Well, if I must. But I pray you've got a little something for me in return. You know, I'm very fond of stuffed animals. See what I mean? Like, this could have been a really cool action scene, and it's marred by the fact that you literally cannot see nothing but this blindingly fast pictures. Which I guess is probably part of the budget. Whoa. There we go. Finding my groove. Crap. Come on. Will you stay still? Ow. There we go. Missed me. I will admit, the way that the, they fight is more like how I pictured Dante and Virgil's final fight to be. Because it's so blindingly fast and quick. And it's not like it's bad either. It's handled extremely well. The way they fight just feels fitting for the characters. It's blindingly quick and it's it's never enough that, other than the camera being a little bit too close, that you shouldn't be able to find out where you're going. I like using that move. It kind of helps orientate me back towards wherever her last position was. Where is she now? Although I do wish that the camera wasn't so bloody tight on them. See what I mean? It's the only thing that's messing up this really brilliant fight is that camera. Got her. Gold medal. So were they fighting in real life, or were they just was that a flashback? I don't honestly know because she's just gone. Sean. Not those little bastards. Crap. 
creepy. Third sphere. Deer and decorations. Creepy. See, like, that's what I mean. The way they design some of the, the baby faces hide these weird demonic faces around these things. That's good design because it makes them unsettling as can be. Let's get motivated. Okay, I have no idea what to do with this. Oh, there we go. I got him. <laughs> the only problem I have is she's only got, like, two things. If you do that, she has that combo, or that taunt. And if you hold down that one, she has another taunt. Maybe she has more if you have, like, a combo. But, I mean, it doesn't have, like, a rank like Devil May Cry, which makes it hard to tell. I've, I've always felt that she should have had more taunts, because she's the kind of person that I think would have plenty of them. There we go. What the? Even a short examination of this wall shows there isn't any way through it. Perhaps if I were to unleash some sort of temporal witch power on it, my situation would suddenly improve. I love the Okami reference there, because I'm a huge fan of o o Okami. I played that game like five, six times. Fantastic. I even got it on the Switch so I could play it on the go. <laughs> For crying out loud, go, go, go. There we go. I hope that I get enough halos by the time this is done to unlock the secret boss fight. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Don't really get much out of that, but you might as well try to smash open everything you can. You can tell they like slow motion, can't you? Gotta turn on the charm. Man, he must be massive compared to her. Some of the camera angles, though, sometimes make people look short, and then the next camera angle, they look taller. See, there they don't look... Oh, no, he still is much taller than her. Fate brought us here together, and it will never tear us apart. <laughs> That's what looking cool gets you sometimes. Again, another Dante reference, though, if you really think about it. How far apart was DMC4? DMC... You're a Christian, man. I mean, I guess I should to show the real Christian. Okay. DMC4 came out in 2008. Bayonetta... Sayonara. Came out in 2009, like I said. So yeah, one year apart. So that means they're being made around the same time. And the rose, the gun with two... It looks like it fires two bullets. It's, it's very interesting just how close these games are. You know, in the language of flowers, rosemary equates to remembrance. <laughs> so interesting, she can does still be smelled. To you, now does it? Bayonetta. Shit. But she can be seen in mirrors. That's Stop interesting. That. That little bug on I'm not your pet. The name is Luca. 
A name you better remember. So she can how come he can interact with her, but I can just walk through everybody else? Damn it! Wait! You can't just run away from me like that! I know what I saw that day! And again, stop. You see, so many of these scenes would look so much cooler if not for that style. It really does bug me. I know all about your kind. Sure, my colleagues laugh at me for chasing fairy tales, amongst other things. But I know they're real. I know the truth. Yeah, and they're literally right behind you. The smell. It's the same smell that clung to the air the day my father was murdered. Which means I'm right on your doorstep, Bayonetta. You in on a little secret, Cheshire. The name is Luke. See, how does that work? The game, I don't like it when games do that where they kind of go back on their own thing. There's no rosemary in the perfume. After all, rosemary is a demon repellent. There we go. Crap, that hit me. I can't... Sometimes the camera is a bit finicky, and that's one of the issues I do have with this game very badly. That's the worst defender that this game has. I know I said don't bother using these, but sometimes they can be fun just to switch it up. And besides, they don't last that long anyway. Boom, baby. There we go. Come on. I'm finding my groove finally. Crap! I was trying to hit the torture attack button. What the heck happened there? It didn't take... Where'd he go? Oh, he just ran away. Honestly, that was one of my better combos. I think I was doing good there. You only run away so fast because you've got something to run from. Me! But you can't escape me forever. Or he, she just simply enjoys the chase. As Lemmy from Motorhead once said, the chase is much better than the catch. gold. What do you mean that? I thought that was a good combo. Apparently from these phone things you can also uh, 
enter cheat codes and stuff like that, or pay for unlockables if you add the coins, or the, the halos, I should say. Which I've never done. Whoa! Are you serious? I took damage from that? Run away train. Run away train. Run away train! These things look like those bone skeletons from Dark Souls. Enchant. Third Sphere Angels. Oh, that usually tripped me up the first couple times I played this game, because they literally jump right at you, and a lot of the enemies do that. It's something you gotta really get used to. Come on! Ow! Bastards. Come on! Got him. That was terrible. I took a lot of damage there. Those things are a pain in the arse. Still got a gold. Okay. Come to me. Thank you. I don't get why you can do that. It serves literally no purpose. Even in combat, it's not very helpful to you. Now I got the people running scared. There we go. Nothing up there. Okay, where are you? Whoa! Okay, that completely missed. Crap. I hate trying to fight these little bastards. Crap. They're moving quicker than I can hit them in some cases. Not more of these bastards. Okay, you again. I'd gladly take you on around. Why isn't it charging? What the heck is that supposed to mean? Oh, he's calling in a buddy. Uh, I'm not that intimidated by one of you, pal. Two of you ain't really gonna do much more. Then just be a mild inconvenience. Yep, told you. I'll take that. Crap. Walk off. There we go. That went remarkably well, if you ask me. Come on. Come on, maximum bonus. Crap, I can never get that max bonus almost. There we go. One thing I'll say about Bayonetta. Even though I feel like sometimes the combat demands too much perfection from you because there's so many enemies and the camera's a little tight. Uh, the combat is endlessly entertaining. Uh, personally, like I said, while DMC was okay, uh, DMC Devil May Cry, the reboot, uh, if you've heard 
but I've said before, you'll know what I'm, I'm talking about here if you've seen my playthrough of that. It's a great platform, but it, it rarely works as intended. Uh, a lot of the times it feels like, because of those are not a proper lock-on and stuff, you can't hit your enemies like you're supposed to. But in this game, there is a lock-on, but I never need to use it. It's not that important. It never gets in the way of the gameplay because there's so many enemies at a time. Time for a spanking. Ooh. Crap. See, like there, it just seemed like he brought that down just a little bit too quickly on me. And like there, I was in the middle of charging that attack to hit him. And there I dodged again. But it doesn't matter. So now I can activate that. Why does the, the Umbran Witch, like on that symbol, look so masculine? It looks more like a, a male wizard than it does a female, and maybe I'm misunderstanding it, but to me it sounds like the order of uh the order of the Umbran Witches was literally all witches. There was no male counterparts. As far as I know. There we go. And there's another fight going to be brewing. Hopefully not. This is where we meet the, the little one. Also, I love how she can use that pole as a stripper pole for some stupid reason. Everything is just done for fun in this game. That's what makes... Devil May Cry 4 felt rushed, and at the time, everybody hated Nero. I still personally felt like he wasn't necessary to his own game. And then after that, you know, the reboot came out, which nobody liked. One thing I'll say about the movie, I felt like the movie was just another one of those anime adaptations of a, of a film, of a game. Like Ratchet and Clank kind of took away some of the, the good parts. But I will admit, it gave time between... Uh, I, what's her name here? Cereza? Yeah, I think it's... Yeah. And uh, Bayonetta and let them bond a little bit more. Isn't that a Frank Sinatra song? I'm not a big fan of Frank Sinatra and stuff, but I, I know a few songs. How can that thing hurt her if she's in the real world? Whoa, nice try there. Ow. Lucky shot. Whoa. Well, these quick time events can sometimes be annoying too, because sometimes you'll just get one hit insta kill. Come on.
that the end of that? Yep. Gold medal. At least I'm getting golds, mostly. I guarantee I still won't get a gold medal probably at the end of this. I got a silver. How do you miss the fights? How do you activate those missing fights there? Is it like something on a harder difficulty, maybe? So before I had gotten a bronze, though, so I did do better this time. Also, I just figured out the camera isn't inverted. That's why I'm having such a hard time on these shooting things. Because I use an inverted Y-axis, and you have to use the left thumbstick, and it's not inverted. Which is one of the reasons this is so bloody difficult. Thirty-six points. And at least I get a lollipop. Left half the city burning. Okay, I don't have enough points yeah to do anything there. Let's just go ahead and drop a save. Yeah, so if you're wondering realistically this game takes about 10, 11 hours to beat in total. Uh that's not going for like every gun and the alternate boss fights and stuff. So keep keep that in mind if you're wanting to know how long it's about as long as Devil May Cry. Every Devil May Cry game's taking us 11 hours or so. This one is about the same. My world of light and summoned me into this world of chaos. The taint of dark world is upon you. Yet you've made a pact with the darkness in exchange of the powers of a witch. It was said that one such pitiful creature survived. Tell me, my child, what is your name? Well then, my apologies. If you are not my awakener, then you and I have no quarrel. No quarrel? You're in no position to decide that. See, my infernal partners love my ability to eliminate your kind. I figure your sacrifice would shut them up for a while. So see, how, does she get like extended days then, or does she not? Where's all the lava coming from? Don't step in it, it will hurt you, and it will accidentally F up a combo quicker than you'd realize. And now these things can't be hurt, I don't think, by normal means, if I'm not mistaken. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, they can't be hurt. I don't remember how you dispel this. I think you can only hit them in witch time or with their own weapons. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. There you go. Even the guns have no effect. Come on. Oh, see? Right there. I got hit by the, the flames, and it messed me up. But the guns still do hit them, apparently. Yep, guns hit. Just not for much. Ow. There we go. Man, that chips away at your health. Bad. Come on, hit me. There we go. Oh, and apparently Durga hits him. Or whatever this thing is called. 
silver medal. Because I took way too much damage there. But see what I mean? Like, it's kind of a little punishing because the enemies burn you for hitting them. Oh, yeah, I forgot she does that weird thing. And then see the freaking floor is burning me. Oh, crap. Go, 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 go. Ignore him. There we go, gold medal. Alright, big guy. They can only be hurt during which time? Second sphere, fairness. Whoa. See what I mean? They really do the stuff that's in the cutscenes at you. Whoa, nice try. Torture attack. Okay, what, what do I do here? Come on. Got him. Did I get hit? I think I got hit once. No damage. Pure platinum. Yay. Hail to the king, baby. Thank you for that. Yeah, she has to do a pose for some reason every time she stops. Camera, work with me here. There we go. Ow. See, that gets annoying awful fast. And now we can go down this way. There we go. And run through it. So I'm guessing that means run. Oh, she's gonna surf. Yeah. <laughs> See, uh, the voice actors adds to a lot of the, the character of Bayonetta. I think that Bayonetta on her own uh, would have been a fine character, but if they had somebody who acted like too sexy, uh, I don't think it would have worked out as well. I think that you know the the voice actors has like that British classiness that really adds to the character of Bayonetta. There we go. Moving on. Whoa, mama. Whoa. Ow. That's just hitting me endlessly. Whoa. Okay, I gotta move. Okay, is this in, in the real world, or is this in Purgatorio? If not, this city's gonna be freaking leveled. Oh, crap. Please tell me I made that jump. Yes, I did. 150 damage, platinum. I guess that was from stepping in the fire. Now we fight two of those things, don't we? Or do we just fight the Durga things? So far, I haven't encountered any records. And we have to fight two of these things. I hope I find some more records so I can find... I don't know where all the records are. Ow. Yow. That hurt. Whoa, nice try. Let's get motivated. Whoa, crap. Dang it. Are you serious? And he brought it. <laughs> that didn't the timing wasn't right. Come on. He's going invisible or something. Whoa, nice try. Yeah. 
There we go. That's the silver. Yep. Now, is there any... Well, I can't bloody see anything. Is the bullet supposed to somehow clear that? How does that have megatons worth of force behind it? Is that the end of the chapter? No, it's not. Well, we still got time. Out. See, standing in this freaking lava is one of the most annoying elements to me. Crap. What? Hitting him before the time. Is he? There we go. Come on, face me. There we go. That worked. Platinum. If only I hadn't taken the damage there. Ow. See what I mean? It's like they just really put too many obstacles here in in some places. Although I will admit that the idea of having to platform more. This game has at least gotten some platforming down, which is something Devil May Cry's never been able to do. And I will give it credit, it breaks up the monotony a little bit. Whoa. It's an ancient portal-like object here. There may be more evidence this town... This... Uh, of the town, this ancient civilization created the catacombs below. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. There we go. I should have gotten a pure platinum there. The light is flooding out of the gate. There seems to be a completely different environment on the other side. Okay, we're in Paradiso now. So... Heaven looks a bit more like a, that opening out of Fable. Or, well, it was Fable, right? Maybe it was too human. I don't remember which game it was supposed to be. I love how she has to do that to, to pull a switch. She can't just pull a switch. Again, she's always got to strike a pose. Okay. Seems like the strange hourglass they would turn back the sands of time. What it was once now broken is whole ag What was once broken is now whole again. I wonder if that power stays true in other dimensions as well. Okay, is there any records or anything I miss? Let's check this area over here. There's something right there. Let us find it. Whoa. Oh, this is a complete. This is one of those complete. It's essentially a hidden mission. Uh, it's just like hit certain enemies. It's nothing important. So I'll just skip it because that just slows us down. I didn't do most of those missions when I played DMC either, so let's stick to the theme. Nothing here. There we go, now through the portal. Uh, it didn't work. Or did I just not work fast enough? Maybe I was supposed to do it... Oh, I'm supposed to bring it back to the real world. It's been a, a little while since I played Bayonetta. I'm not 
the most remember it. Yeah, I'm not good with memory. Well, at least we'll get to see the pose again. And I can't use my wolf form or nothing to speed up here, so I just gotta do this the old-fashioned way. Come on, move along. Okay. So, use it on the bridge. That is a cool little feature. Again, I like stuff like that. That's more stuff like Devil May Cry should add. Because unfortunately, DMC has the issue of being very samey in some ways in some of its side missions and side content. Ow. How did that hit me? Gotcha. Flat in the metal. And I made it across. Come on, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Oh. Uh, which way? Up. Uh, oh, S fire. Jump. Okay, so is that like the fires of hell or something? Because it's growling at me. Or is that like bathe in holy fire fire? There's a lot of different types of fire out there. Thank you. I've never seen lava just stuck in a wall like that. I'm guessing that means this thing's about to erupt. Whoa. I feel like I'm in Tomb Raider now. Go, 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 go. There we go. Lava is pouring from those holes. The catacombs must be devastated by now. Okay. Man, we left the city on fire. The city's wrapped in flames. It doesn't seem likely the fire will dissipate. So that must have been real, or are we... I honestly don't know. Man, look at how the camera just twisted around. If they ever redo Bayonetta again, or like an HD remaster on another system, other than just re-releasing it on PC, and stuff, I'd love to see some stuff like the weird camera. Like, it's moving on its own. See, I move it, and it moves back fixed and things like that. That's some of the only problems that this game has. Please let this be at least a gold. Silver. How? I got four Platinums. At least I got better than I did last time. I had a stone award last time. Okay, come on. Hey, I got a headshot. Double headshot. Triple headshot. That was my first miss. I can't hit that. Crap. And I missed. I wasted all my points trying to hit that. There we go. Okay, do we have enough to be able to buy an upgrade now? And moving on. Okay, we definitely don't have time to get through another mission. 
So after we buy our upgrade, we'll just save and call it a day a few minutes early. You here for business or pleasure? Either way, I'll hook you up. Is this man a pimp? <laughs> Okay, what do we need here? Accessories. What all do these do? Okay, blah blah blah. Shiva, God is of Destruction. The braces have been known to have the power to repel an enemy attack. Yasuka was reported to have been invincible, and her mastery of this technique allowed her to nullify any attack no matter what the strength. Oh, so it's like a, a shield, if you use it correctly. These contain the soul of the blah blah blah. Placing these braces on one arm said to be an affront to Paradiso, summoning it where... Summoning upon the wrath of the heavens, during which the, during the witch hunts. So it just makes him be taunted? Dodges... Incoming danger, the beads will launch incoming attacks, but you won't have witch time. That seems to be the most useful. The t witch time will be triggered, expending magical power. Okay, I'll just get Selene's light, because that seems like... Oh no, that's not the right thing. I'll get the star. And then, other than that, I think we're pretty good. Nothing else we need. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, so far, we're doing good. I don't think that the first level updated. Maybe it did. I honestly don't know. Uh, but we've got, like, better scores overall than what I had. As you can see from the later levels, I, I didn't do particularly well on some of these. Maybe I, I can learn to do better uh, as we go along. I feel like I, I've improved just from playing through every single Devil May Cry game and stuff before replaying this. And I hope by the time we get to Bayonetta 2, uh, I'm even better. I cannot wait for Bayonetta 3. I've been excited for it ever since they announced it, and I hope that it comes out sooner than later. It isn't one of those things where they just keep on uh, pushing it back, because we need more games like this. If it's true what they're saying, that that Devil May Cry 6 is going to be a ways off, like from what a leaker said, it was like 2025, 2026, you know, you're looking at four more years, which hopefully I don't think it'll take that long because i don't think they're going to want their interest to die down especially after the, su the success that the last game held for them but i really am excited for this like i said there's not really any other games out there like devil may cry and bayonetta bayonetta isn't exactly like devil may cry there's enough differences between them that you can easily differentiate some of the the major differences you know there's fans out there that will argue over which one's the better series uh, personally, to me, it's Devil May Cry. But I have high hopes for this third game. I really like the new design of Bayonetta. I like how every game Bayonetta looks different. Uh, personally, I like her original suit better than I did the second outfit from the second game. But I, I think that the hair looked better simply because... I, I get that she's supposed to have like a big beehive, but the way it's connected to her suit doesn't necessarily make sense. But it makes more sense because her hair is her weapon than having it disconnected in two. So I guess I don't know which one I like better. And then uh, the one from 3, I, I love long hair, so I think the, the third game version of her looks really good. I hope it's a fun game. I hope it's everything that I am hyping it up in my mind to be. And I hope that you guys will enjoy it when we get to those. After this series, like I said, we'll probably play No More Heroes, which is about the only other action, hack and slash, character action game, whatever you wish to call it, franchise close to dmc in them it's not on the same level as these games but it was fun it was on the wii you know and it was really good i never played three i've been waiting to play three and so i can't wait to get a hold of three too 
Uh, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening.